Throughout the COVID-19 pandemic, we're often reminded to protect our hands and mouths. But what about our eyes? Coronavirus symptoms have been characterized as mild runny nose, sore throat, cough, and fever. The illness can be more severe for some immunocompromised people and can lead to pneumonia or breathing difficulties. But around flu season, many people also suffer from seasonal allergies with symptoms that can be associated with infections like pink eye. Ideally, when we're talking about pink eye, we should use the term conjunctivitis because that's what it is. And there's different things that can cause it. It could be allergies. It could be bacteria. And now what everybody's kind of really scared about is viruses. The American Academy of Ophthalmology released studies advising that coronavirus may rarely cause pink eye. Health officials believe viral pink eye develops in about 1 or 3 percent of people with COVID-19. In a study from the Journal of Medical Virology, of 30 patients hospitalized for COVID-19 in China, only one had conjunctivitis. In a larger study published in the New England Journal of Medicine, researchers documented conjunctival congestion in 9 of 1,000 in 99 patients. Ophthalmologists have been taking extra precautionary measures to verify that their patients with eye infections also have fever and have traveled recently. Dr. Compton explains how conjunctivitis is caused. These things are transferred by between human to human through respiratory droplets. So somebody sneezes or coughs and you're in that area, you inhale it through your mouth, your nose, and that's how it comes in. But we're also seeing that it can be transferred to objects. So what happens is somebody infected touches these things and you touch it, then you rub your nose, you rub your eyes, and that's how you get it in. So absolutely it can be transferred. One bronxite associates her allergies with chemical sensitivities amidst the recent MTA deep cleanings. As seen in this photo, MTA employees have been using spray bottles of bleach, fabuloso, and water to disinfect trains and buses. Both times I went on the train, Bedford Park, D train, um, they were just blasted with disinfectants. Mm. So that's why I was just like, you know, I knew my eyes were hurting. If people are really chemical, like sensitive, like this is not a good time for you to be on these trains. Now, don't get me wrong. Chemical uh, infection or problems in the eye can be very dramatic. But the amount that you're going to get from them spraying is so minimal. And it's something that we could address with just like constant flushing the eye out with water. So if your eyes are affected at this time, what should you do? The experts suggest. For now, we get to kind of do our part, you know, and as an individual, you can do your part. Just something as simply as washing your hands constantly or not rubbing your eyes. If you're sneezing, don't sneeze in your hands, sneeze in, in your elbow. There's so many different things that can happen. And, and if you feel symptoms, you got to You got to keep to yourself, like don't be out in public. Contact your doctor, your primary care doctor. They can talk to you about testing, possible quarantining. Um, It's all these things. I think if we all kind of play our role, we get out of this sooner than later. Reporting for BronxNet, Sanji Lopez.